Rub up your engines! Today we got a Nissan Rogue, it's got about 119,000 miles. He's worried about the CVT transmission going out on it. So we're gonna check it out. He bought it only a few thousand miles ago. You can see it's still in excellent shape, the body and everything. And he's taking care of the interior. The previous owners obviously did to some extent because it's not ripped or torn, it's in good shape. You can see it's got 118,000 miles on it. As we look under the hood, aside from the bird poop that came on this drive here, it's actually a pretty good engine. Real it wasn't until this year that they came out with a variable compression engine electronic hydraulic control to change the compression ratio by making the piston going up really far or not as far to change the compression ratio really interesting technology point it breaks Woo, this is a pretty dependable engine. Now you might wonder why they went to the variable compression engine other than they have engineers that designed it so they did. They do get slightly better gas mileage but you're only talking about four or five percent better gas mileage and these get in the 30s anyway. They had that level of technology and turning the owners into guinea pigs to see gee will these engines actually last over time? This particular engine can last a long time. The new ones the jury's still up. Do you want to be a guinea pig? I don't. Still connected to a Jatco CVT transmission. And he feels that it's starting to wear out. Now there's some wear in these that are normal that you live with, some that are problems. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook up the giant scan tool. And here we go, we got the link up, we turn the main tool on, we turn the key on. So the idiot lights are on, but it's not running. And we'll do an intelligent diagnosis. It's like a giant roulette wheel. We'll do a full service diagnosis. The machine's doing its thing. Well, we'll just kind of look around it. It's got a nice black and chrome interior. Now it is a CVT transmission, but you know, it's got these fake gear shifts in it. Now some of these CVTs have a problem where they won't go over 3000 RPM. He's not having that problem yet, so it's not gotten too bad. We're gonna do a road test and everything, but we're gonna check all the data first. We got a nice room in the back seat. It's a compact SUV, but yes indeed, the weakness of this vehicle is a CVT transmission. A pretty good engines, 2.5 liter. Nissan's been making 2.5 liter engines for a long time. They have a good history. They're decent engines, but they're hooked up to that CVT transmission that I am not a fan of. And you can see the computer system is a little slow. We've only done 49% and it's been a few minutes. From my experience, the Nissan computer systems, they're a bit laggard. They're kind of slow, a little bit backwards. They could be updated a lot. This car isn't that old. This is a very high speed fancy scan tool too. So it should really go a lot faster than it is. So now we're going to look at the transmission system. We're going to check everything, but this is a four wheel drive one. So we'll start there. Now we'll see if there's any fault codes. We'll select everything and it's as if they know these things have problems because it says there's no DTC but you might need further testing. So we'll close the hood. Thank you for a spin. Back up. Turn any music off. Little backup camera. Could be a little brighter but I mean you can see. And the owner who's riding next to me said he hates that thing and it's kind of small. Now the computer's recording it all. We'll take it for a little spin. It didn't have any codes but like I said like the machine itself said no detective trouble codes but further testing may be needed. It's like it knows. Now this is a very odd transmission. This is a two-speed CVT with overdrive. They have so many different variants of these things that make your head spin. The car itself rides fine. These are fun little cars to drive around. It's the history of Nissan. They've always made zoomy little cars that are fun to drive. But their weak links have always been their front wheel drive transmissions, especially the Jatco CVTs. He said he feels it being weird most at lower speed, so we'll start out low and see. See, that's the weird thing is these are such odd transmissions. They're CVT transmissions, so they don't have any gears, but they call it a two speed CVT with an overdrive. So it acts like it shifts gears, even though there's no gears to shift. Now, sometimes it confuses people with the way they run. Sometimes it doesn't. Well, take it to our little drag strip and see what it does under load. Looking in the rear view mirror, there's absolutely nobody behind us. So we'll come to a stop and we'll see what it does under full acceleration. Here we go. You notice it goes a lot higher. See how it shifts higher. But actually, for its design, it's shifting perfectly, so far at least. Now, the owner used to have an old Versa with a CVT, and he admits it was much worse than this. It was kind of like a motorboat going on a road of, uh, you can just feel it kind of slipping. This is a better design. They have gone forwards in it, and it's not like it's slipping badly. 
they just do have a tendency of revving a lot higher because that's the design of the vehicle to get acceleration out of it and that's why they added an overdrive to it so that it gets better gas mileage on highway while still having decent acceleration most cars you think there's something wrong when you're going 45 and you step on the gas and it immediately goes this high but this thing was actually designed that way the machine doesn't lie it's recording all this data and we'll check it out when we get back i like one thing about this no auto shut off it's not turning the engine off hooray and i like the fact that it has an actual key all right we're back to square one stop the recording under the file name nissan okay and here we go auto playback if anything looks odd seven pages of information here now as you can see it's nice and green here and this is the slippage we're going to see if there's any slippage now the graphs are easy to read so we can play it back fast with my finger and you know it's stayed green the whole time which is good it's not getting into the red or anything and we'll watch one of these pressure sensors here do a combination of them and you can see they're all more or less following each other like they're supposed to some are the suggested pressure versus the actual pressure you can see when one changes the other changes everything's actually working there's no codes on this and really for its age 118,000 miles this thing is still shifting pretty good now he says a lot of times when you're just doing slow traffic it feels a little bit odd well that's what happens to these things as they age they're much more critical at a lower speed because when you're going at a lower speed unfortunately these things are set up by computers to get the best gas mileage they possibly can now a really good test of this is which you can tell us let's say you're going in low speeds when you're going in low speeds I would advise shift into the manual so you'll start out you can see there's one it won't change now because we're not moving but you have it in one and then once you get to a certain speed you can shift it up a little bit we'll get on the road to show this even better if you find it has a problem with shifting now you can see we have it in one and it's manual so what you would do would be you're going up the hill and then you manually shift it to two you can see that didn't have any kind of hesitation whatsoever Go to three again it's not hesitating so if you do have one of these and you don't like the little jiggles do this put it manual shift it manually which is rather hilarious because the owner here he used to do that with his focus he had one of those horrible dct dual clutch transmissions and he gave up with the thing shifting itself and did it manually and he drove it that for quite some time he just told me he drove it five years that way so rather than spend a fortune thousands and thousands replacing one of these cvts hey if you gotta pretend it's a standard transmission whoop de do it's really easy to do okay they're not the greatest transmissions in the world but this one gets good gas mileage it still runs pretty good it just sometimes gets a little jiggle at lower speeds there are no codes yet and most of the data shows it's working perfectly fine on the other hand humans we can feel a lot more things than computers can because they only trip a code when there's a certain percentage and normally it's 20 to 25 percent plus or minus off normal data well as humans we can feel three percent difference right so a little bitty jiggle but it's running good enough eh, if it really bothers you put it in the manual mode like he did in his focus for five years <laughs> so i'm not in love with nissan's but you know he bought it a couple thousand miles ago it's really not a bad vehicle it's not my choice of vehicle but it runs good it is fine to drive it's got a lot of space it gets great gas mileage and yes it does not have the variable compression engine because it's too old only the newer ones have that and that uh, i mean if you think about it there's two things going wrong with it one it's a variable compression engine and two it's a three cylinder engine even less cylinders the smaller the amount of cylinders it's a fact the faster things will wear out this engine isn't worn out at all it's not burning oil runs perfectly fine you're looking for a used one like this if you're not a fanatic about jiggling shifting and it still goes as good as this but just remember before you buy one have a guy like me check it out because at least my machine will show there are no codes of any sort in the transmission now if it did have codes in the transmission and someone was thinking about buying it i would just say no look on to another car don't buy this one but this one's still in pretty good shape so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.